Hi guys, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to say hey and catch y'all up on a few things. Um, let's see what's been going on in the last few days. Um, well, um, my landlord has decided to put in a new hot water heater. Yeah, um, my hot water heater she said was working fine however I only have like five minutes of hot water and um, she tested it they tested it and it tested okay and whatever but she decided that she's gonna go ahead since um, they are in the building everyone's hot water heaters are 15 years old so she finally decided that she was going to put a new one in mine. And then I just found out today that she's going to put a new one in everybody's, um, there's three apartments in this unit, and she's going to put um, new hot water heaters in everybody's apartment. So, she, I guess, is going to do a good thing, which I'm very happy hopefully I will get more hot water now um, I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that it will be good <laughs> so um, looking forward to that anyway um, she always kind of makes everything a big deal which I know everything is a big expense and whatnot but she always makes things she upsets me um, basically she really put stress on me about my apartment and stuff like that and because it's kind of messy well it is messy and everything um, it's like cluttered and stuff and she just puts pressure on me um, and it gives me great great anxiety so Right now, I have great, great anxiety, so I hope y'all know what that's like. Um, she always, like, looks around and, like, you know, my kitchen is total disaster, and that's where they have to come through to do their little thing and everything, and, um, of course, I've got my Christmas stuff all out still and everything. I'm waiting for my dad to come help me put it in storage, and, um, just lots of little odds and ends and stuff like that, and, um, lots of stuffed animals out for Christmas and stuff like that, and she just nitpicks about things, and, yes, I know it's my apartment, I pay the rent and all that kind of stuff, but she comes in and, like, inspects it not inspects, but she comes in and looks it over and says what she doesn't like about it and thinks that you should do something about it. But that's just a little of that humdrum, humdrum drama. Um, but to make a long story short, um, getting a new hot water heater. So, um, tickled pink about that. And... Um, yesterday, I was laying in bed, feeling highly, I've just got this really bad anxiety right now, and, um, I was laying in bed, just laying there, um, basically snoozing, and, um, I got a phone call, and I may have, you may have remembered me talking about this guy before, his name is Larry, and, um, I had went over to his house and he has like four kids and I had went to his house before and we had well per se went out a few times well he called and wanted to know how I was doing and why I hadn't called well I had called and wished him a Merry Christmas the last time I called him I had called and wished him a Merry Christmas to him and his family and I had called his home phone and his cell phone and then I said I wasn't going to ever call him again so I just never called him again 
because I felt like he definitely didn't want to talk to me. So, that's why I never called him again. So, I get this call out of the blue from him, and he's like, well, you know, um, I haven't heard from you for a while. What are you doing? Have you found a job yet? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, I haven't found a job yet. And I'm searching, and I've come close, but I haven't found anything yet. And so we talked and everything, and he tells me what's going on in his life, and we do the whole drama about Christmas. Did you have a good one? Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so, um... I didn't say anything, I just, you know, kind of was kind of standoffish because I really didn't know what to say. And then he, out of the blue, says that his, his sister, and, no, he's not his sister, his, his wife is widowed, right? His, his wife, ugh, I'm getting this all screwed up. When he... Let's just start this completely over. He's not divorced. He is widowed. There we go. He is not divorced. He is widowed. His wife passed away. Well, his wife's mother has been staying with them and helping him with his kids. Well, she came down like a few months ago, just a few months ago, like maybe three months ago. Well, he told me that t last night she was getting married. Yes. Some guy proposed to her and that met her at this dance club and they're getting married. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? I mean, this is like the sixth time this woman's been married. So, I mean, yeah, whatever. So, anyway, he said... After the wedding, would you like to come out and and see the kids and be with us for a while and watch a movie? And I'm like, well, um, it's it's like a um, pretty good haul, you know, to go to his place. It's a 45 minute drive. I mean, it's not bad, but the only bad part is it's like it's all interstate, which is great. But then out to his his house is like four miles of pure hell. Um, if you don't really watch the road and you, I mean, it's like you can, I can only drive 30 miles an hour because it is, um, I mean, I don't know the road and it's like twists and turns and curves and all this stuff. And if you make one minor error, you're going to die. You're totally going to die. And I said, well, I don't know if I can find your house or not. Because, you know, I've only been out there a few times. And I said, maybe, you know, you can meet me at the Shell Station so you could take me back there. It's like back in BFE. Um, so, anyway, he said, okay, I can do that. So, anyway, he met me at Shell and drove me through, you know, led me through the, um, saga of the four miles of torturous hell. Of course, he's going, he could go fast on that road. He can go, like, 60 miles an hour, and I'm back here going, put, 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 granny put, put. But, um, I can't do that, because it's, like, country road, and steep curves, and hills, and all that, and I just can't do it. But anyway, I'm fixing to run out of time, so I'll continue this video, but, um, anyway, I, um, did the 45-minute haul out to his house, and, um, we watched, um, the kids play and stuff like that, and they talked to me about what they got for Christmas, and, um, they played and, and stuff, and then we didn't watch a movie, um, F with the kids. Um, I'm going to make part two. I'll see you. Bye.